Hello everyone, my name is Elva. Welcome to Planet Sims and welcome to another spirit build. I hope you're all doing well and having such an awesome, awesome day. So today we are building in Windenburg and this time I built a tiny home for a single mom and her daughter, her only daughter. So I want to have some mid-century modern vibe but it's kind of lean towards more masculine side i'm not sure if i explained that properly because it's kind of it's kind of weird explanation but you've seen that already in the intro so i think this particular house quite look like a mid-century modern but lean towards a mas masculine style if that makes sense and this house even though this house is a tiny home they have a pool and the pool is quite big um i know it's not very smart to have such a small home but a decent sized pool it's i'm not sure how to call that but it's not very clever because normally you you will um build the house a bit larger and not having any pool but this time i switched that up and i decided to put a pool but such a tiny home and i did love that i really really love that idea and i think i executed that pretty well so the mother the mom will be sleeping on the living space with murphy bed i know murphy bed is kind of very dangerous because there is a death by murphy bed i'm pretty sure and it's quite it's quite strange but it's the sims anyway and it's kind of fun so yeah and murphy bed would save up some some space so i think why not and it's been forever since i use murphy bed i think the last one was on i can recall oh my god that that should be such a very long time i'm not sure when but i'm pretty sure it's it's a long time ago it's been it's been a hot minute but i decided to use one and i think it looks pretty cute and the kitchen is fairly small it's just four tiles like four straight tiles at first i wanted to make it into a l-shaped type of um, kitchen but i think it doesn't work pretty well and i decided to make this into a just straight line kitchen and in this home you could put up to three sims maximum because the the home is very very small and when the murphy bed is down you couldn't be able to walk into the other side of the home so if you decided to sleep on both um sides you just can't can walk to the other side so if you sleep on the left side on the on the left side of murphy bed you couldn't be able to walk into the kitchen or the front door so it's kind of a struggle and i love struggle in the sims i think it adds so much on the gameplay thing so yeah why not and this is the daughter's bedroom and i decided to make it kind of like a lilac pink purple blue yellow kind of very colorful and i really really like this and this house has a laptop so i think having a laptop in your household it or in your build is very necessary it helps a lot with the skill building things and it's just it's it's so very versatile for me even when i when i do the gameplay i always always make sure that my sims purchase a laptop first before a tv so that's how very functional it is very important to have laptop or pc over pc not over pc oh my god a laptop or pc over tv my tongue is not working properly tonight okay but anyway 
um the bedroom is kind of coming together and i really really like this and this house doesn't have any door to separate each room so the living space and the bedroom and the bathroom doesn't have any door so they just have some curtains and i do like that because it's just so hilarious to have something like that it's it looks very um vintage but this house is not vintage but i like that idea a lot so yeah why not and it's kind of weird for me to almost finish up the whole interior without working on the exterior at all i mean at least i paint the wall the exterior wall first before i jumped in into the interior walls but it's kind of vice versa in this build and before i finish up the bathroom i decided to finish up the exterior first at least paint some walls and just do those things and that's it so after this we just have to finish up the bathroom and i put this decoration thing hanging thing this thing from seasons and i do really like that i think it looks very fun and in my mind i thought that the daughter made this just for them for the gifts for uh, her mom and it just looks so so cute and this is the backyard and it's really simple it's just a pool and some seating space so i throw something on the backyard which was very interesting and that thing is a woohoo bush and since this is the windenburg we have to have that so i decided to put two woohoo bashes at the end i mean you could only see one by this time but at the end i put two and i love that i love that idea so so much it looks so cute and the red hearts shaped on that bash looks good together with the whole build because the build has some red accent to it and i just love that and can we all agree that windenburg is so pretty i both get together just for the windenburg only and that column that came with um get together and i am obsessed with all of them <laughs> i love windenburg i think still it's still my number one favorite world ever period but yeah anyway let's just go talk about the build i just finished up the landscaping and i think after this we just do the backyard so put on some seating space and a grill probably and some color boxes i think yeah and that is it so so if you want to download this build this has been up on the sims 4 gallery you could search by my id alfatiera or under the hashtag flamasims or if you prefer to grab it from the website gallery, I got you covered because there is a link that will bring you to the website gallery. You could just save it from there or download it from there. And if you prefer a tray files, no worries because there is another link that will bring you to the sim file share server to get the tray files from there. And yeah, I think that is it. I really hope you did enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to ring the bell so you will be notified every single time I upload a new video. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video off right now. Thank you so, so much for joining me today and supporting my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.